The universe had a beginning. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1.1 And you, Lord, laid the foundation of the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. Hebrews 1.10 God the Father speaking to God the Son Until the 20th century, it was believed by secular scientists that the universe had been eternal, having no beginning or end. The idea that the universe had a beginning was resisted almost as fervently as intelligent design is today, and was considered extremely offensive. When Edwin Hubble discovered that the universe is expanding, it became the straw that broke the camel's back. Time, space, matter, and energy all had a beginning, just as the Bible declared thousands of years ago. Unfortunately, most astronomers hold to the Big Bang model, despite the clear evidence that natural explanations for the origin of the planets in our solar system, the moon, and the universe as a whole fail to fit with the observed scientific facts. Time had a beginning. In Genesis 1, we read about the days of creation, and read that there was the fourth day, the fifth day, etc. This was the first week in existence, and these were clearly literal days. I have an entire video uploaded on this topic already. To the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time, and now and forever. Amen. Jude 1.25 1 Corinthians 2.7 2 Timothy 1.9 and Titus 1-2 all say that time had a beginning. The ESV footnotes say that the literal Greek is before times eternal for two of these three verses. The earth is round. It is he who sits above the circle of the earth, and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain and spreads them out like a tent to dwell in. Isaiah 40, verse 22. It is interesting that in one verse we read both that the earth is round and that the universe is expanding. Please note that it was not until Edwin Hubble looked through the telescope in the 20th century that we knew that the universe was expanding. Anyway, back to the spherical earth. There are several verses in scripture that when put together seem to indicate a spherical earth. He has inscribed a circle on the face of the waters at the boundary between light and darkness. Job 26.10 The fact that the horizon was described as being a circle on the face of the earth separating light and darkness indicates that this is describing a spherical earth. I tell you, in that night there will be two in one bed, one will be taken and the other left. There will be two women grinding together. One will be taken and the other left. Luke 17, 34-36 In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and void, and darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the Spirit of God was moving over the surface of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, one day. Genesis 1, 1 through 5, NASB. Here we have two different scripture passages. One describing that God physically separated light from darkness, calling the light day and the darkness night. The other passage, describing the rapture, says that there will be two people working side by side and two people sleeping side by side, and in each case one person is taken and one person is left. Both scriptures imply that day and night happen at the same time. Compare this with the Quran, which tells the account of a man going so far away that he gets to the place where he can see the sunset in a mud puddle and then talked to some people there.
He also goes to the place where the sun rises. Surah 18, 84 through 92. That's the surah is a chapter in the Quran. So it's Quran chapter 18, verses 84 through 92. Sometimes people quote a passage from Revelation that talks about the four corners of the earth. However, they are usually unaware that this is a figure of speech in Greek that refers to the cardinal directions, north, south, east, and west, not to physical corners. In English, we practically have an entire language that revolves around figures of speech and euphemisms, such as raining cats and dogs, sunrise and sunset, listen to your heart, the most foolish one of all, and you lie like a dog. In the first century, when Revelations was written, it was already known that the earth was round, and it is known that the four corners of the earth was a phrase that was used by the Greeks, but not taken literally. At face value, the Bible says that the earth is round. I am not making up history for convenience. Nowhere does the Bible claim that the earth is flat. In fact, the Bible makes no scientific error whatsoever. Evolution and old earth beliefs change every day, and there is strong evidence that nature is designed and that the earth is young. While there are only a handful of dating methods that show that the earth is old, there are hundreds that show that the earth is young. Whenever I have done labs in school or professionally, if there were a small number of data points that did not line up with the other 300, we went with the 300, and often threw out those few that did not fit the pattern. I am going to be scientific about my views on the origin of life, and on the age of the earth. I am sticking with the Bible. Evolution goes against science, and so does old earth belief.